Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 1, Episode 6, Thoughts. This episode is called The Killer of Killers. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything Evil Dead franchise leading up to and including this episode. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, very, very creepy as Amanda and Ruby explore, you know, Brujo's place. And <laughs> so I don't speak enough Spanish, but I think what Ruby said to the, I think it was something like, um, it's been a while, haven't, haven't seen you in a while or something like that, which, yeah, that was, <laughs> and yeah, really, really cool when the skeleton on fire attacks you know, very reminiscent of Army of Darkness, the best of the trilogy, and yeah, you know, it. It. I think a lot of it was was CG. Certainly, the the face looked quite convincing. The the mouth movements. So I don't know. Yeah, I have. If it was CG, it was really, really well. Regardless of what exactly, how exactly the effect was achieved. Very, very nicely done. Very convincing and, and cool looking. And yeah, such a cool fight. I, I quite appreciate, you know, Amanda, the newbie, is like firing her gun. And, and Ruby, like, it doesn't even, you know, she's not even like, what do I do? She's just like, oh, scythe, gotta, you know, and stabs it, scythe to the side. And, you know, just, yeah, really, really cool. And then Ruby like, disappears into the fire, so that's, I, I don't know if she, like, went to hell itself, if she did, I like to think that she, you know, pulled a, crap, this would have worked so much better if I remembered his name, um, yeah, the, the rapper, and, and kills the devil, and, let's see, then we have the uh, what's that say? Oh, right, right. The yeah, Ash's original possessed hand is missing, which is yeah, that's that's not a great sign. And yeah, I very funny with Ash just like scarfing down pancakes like he's going to the chair and you know Kelly's like you're hurting those pancakes I know what I have to do chew before you swallow and you know Kelly says she's all in the last thing I want those deadites to see before they go back to hell is this ugly mug and Ash is like I appreciate that <laughs> she just insulted you and he just he's too d dumb to even realize it and, and, yeah, you know, if I take you with me, you're going to end up possessed. I'm going to have to cut your heads off. That's going to be bad for everybody. And I really appreciate the, you know, Pablo's like, we, look, when we signed up for this, we knew what we were going into. Okay, we absolutely did not, but we do now. And let's see, then we have the... Um, um, right, right, the th yeah, he, he meets back up with Lem, still an asshole, I see, and, you know, he's like, ah, oh, you know, I'm off, it, it, yeah, he's like, apparently Lem used to get drunk, and then, you know, use his gun, so that's, holy shit, yeah, he, he is a walking, like, NRA, yeah, he's a walking ad for gun control, and, you know, he's like, ah, oh, I'm off the sauce. Nine days, almost. <laughs> and, yeah, you know, he's he's now part of a militia. And the, the, yeah, the, the, um, we hear the motto. That's a terrible motto. I, I know, it is. I, uh, they, when I joined, they'd already thought it up, <laughs> you know, this, this, I just want you to know, cool with the guns, cool with the wackos with the guns, 
That is a bad motto, and I, it's important to me that you know that I had no input on that. And, yeah, um, Kelly picks up on Pablo being weird around her. And, and yeah, you know, first she thinks, you know, you're, you're grieving. If you need to take that out on me, that's okay. You know, I just, I just want you to know. I'm okay with that. I'm just, you know, if I can tell that there's something going on. And if that's it, then that's okay, you know. But then he's like, ah, that's not it. Um, so when you were possessed, you tried to fuck me and kill me. Fuck you, fuck you. This this episode has quite liberal use of the the F word, and I'm here for it. You know, if you if you've got the the chance to use it as as much as you think makes sense, and and yeah, you know. He asks, was that all demon or, you know, is there any, was there any of that that was maybe, it's, it's, you know, maybe how you actually, yeah. And, and then, yeah, Ash comes back and he's like, so, or, or, yeah, Ash is like, you know, who's, who's paying? And, you know, they're like, um... You said this was your treat. You said it before the meal, then you said it during the meal, you know, and Kelly quotes him and does a pretty good impersonation of him. And let's see. Yeah, and it's it's pretty clear he does not have the money for that. And Amanda calls for backup, which I've watched enough, you know, police in you know trying to deal with supernatural shit in movies to know never ends well and let's see yeah and then the the they talk some more about the the possessed kelly and and her actions and you know you have the thing about you know well you tried to Get me to smoke weed out of a shotgun. It was crazy. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, awesome. And you know, then the the yeah, he's he's trying to find out, you know, because because yeah yeah, she says I guess it picked up on how I feel about you. How do you feel about me? You know, still simping, still in the friend zone, and you know, she said, ah, oh, you're just you're so sweet and pure, you know, and at this point, you know. The the uh, Bru Brujo's medallion is going nuts, and there's like this noise. You know, the book is like, if you two aren't going to bang, I'm gonna do it. And the the mouth is trying to like in ingest the the medallion. Really cool. Always a fan of when they have the mouth on the book actually do something. I'm still really I I love. I want to say it was the first one where the, the tongue is, like, slobbering all about. Like, and you just know that took forever to do with stop motion. But Raimi really badly wanted it in there. And no wonder. It's awesome. And, <laughs> yeah. Ash tries to flirt with Nancy, the waitress. And he is just... Oh, my God. Yeah, he's... <laughs> He's not very good at it, and it's clearly not working on her at all. Honestly, before Amanda was the one who walked into the John after Ash, I thought that was going to be her cook husband. But yeah, um, I, you know, because like, she's just like, mm -hmm, yeah. So about that money, like, she does not give a fuck. She in no way, and, and then she's like, yeah, so the thing about you trying to pick me up is that's my husband. He's the cook. So the you know, and and Ash's like, gotcha. We're gonna have to keep it on the DL. I you know, you're gonna want to leave your husband for me, and that's not okay with me because you know, family values. And let's see, yeah, pretty funny when. Pablo and Kelly are, are, you know, putting heavy stuff on top of the, the you know, metal box with the book to, to keep it down. And, and, you know, 
yeah, they talk about options for destroying it, and, you know, since fire didn't work, and, yeah, the, the, you know, Pablo has multiple ideas, Kelly is against it, and, yeah, he, he wonders, you know, are you hoping that more of them will, will come, and you can keep killing them, and then he Yoda quotes, and she catches him in it. Um, so the exact, let's see. Um, which I believe it's, yeah. Did you just Yoda quote me? <laughs> yeah. And let's see. The, yeah. And, and, you know, Ash, you know, he, he, he tries to make himself smell better with, crushed up little, like, wow, yeah, ooh, cold, cold, and, you know, Amanda comes in, and they fight, and there's this, like, at one point, he's, like, grinding up against her, against the stall, and he, like, stares at her cleavage, just, Jesus Christ, Ash, for just, for one second, could you think with the other head, for once, and, yeah, she manages to, to overpower him, and also, yeah, really, really nasty when she knocks him down into the, the, the water and the, just, blah. And, yeah, love it. It's not evil dead if there's not something disgusting going into someone's mouth. And then, you know, she's, like, arresting him, and... <laughs> and he's like, oh, you know, sorry, Nancy, she's, you know, she, she beat you to it. She she just couldn't get enough, you know, and, and he he says, and he's, those are her words. Which is all the funnier, because it's like, no, those are very much your own words. There's, nobody nobody says that about you, Ash, let's be honest. And, you know, and, and yeah, the, the, the other cops coming in, and, and Amanda's like, this guy is behind everything. Wow, there's an overstatement. <laughs> and... Let's see. Yeah, and, and, you know, he says, I'm the only one who can fight it. Fight what? That. Another member of my fan club. And it's, I appreciate it, because, like, the moment that we saw that there was this kid, like, immediately we're like, they're gonna fucking kill him. The, the show is gonna kill off this, like, ten-year-old boy, you know. And not only does he die, but his face gets all fucked up by the fan. And... Yeah, we have the yeah, and and yeah, Pablo and Kelly come in as as backup, throw the chainsaw, and we get the coolest so far of of the the catches in in the show. You know, off with the hand, and the chainsaw just lands, and it's like an over the shoulder shot of of Ash. Really, really cool. And let's see. Yeah, the, the really cool, you know, Pablo, like, empties the, the handgun into into Nancy, and like, oh shit, you know, and, and he does the, he does like a John Woo-style slide while he's shooting, awesome, and, yeah, um, Ash slices open the stomach of the, the other cop, and, and then it cuts, and we see, like, he stand there with his guts, awesome, love that they went practical for that as impractical as it probably was on set. And Kelly just, like, slices the face of Nancy and then takes, like, the, the I forget what it's called, but, like, a meat mallet thing, you know, for, for yeah, for, for, yeah, to, you know, and, and just keeps pounding on and, and, you know, Pablo and Ash are, like, staring and, and Pablo's like, oh, that's a, like, kind of into it. And, and Ash, yeah. I think she needed that. <laughs> and I found a piece of pie that doesn't have any blood on it. <laughs> and yeah, Amanda says, you know, um, um, yeah, Amanda agrees to, to join, which, yeah, really looking forward to seeing that dynamic play out because, like, she still doesn't exactly like Ash. You know, she has. She has now accepted that he's not the one, you know, she saw with her own eyes, he's trying to kill these deadites. He's not the one trying to get people hurt by them, clearly. She has accepted that. 
he's still kind of an asshole, you know, not very many people actually like Ash, you know, let's see, there, there's Ash himself, obviously, number one fan, wow, that might actually be it, um, so yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be fun, and, you know, like, let's see, I think it was Pablo did knock her out, Kelly held her at gunpoint, you know, so I'm looking forward to that play out, you know, the fact that they are going to work together doesn't mean that they're just going to be best friends, you know, BFFs right away, so, and, and, yeah, you know, Ash, he can't for, like, two seconds not think about sex, so, you know, Amanda's, <laughs> it's like, you know, what was it, you can, you can string my tennis racket or something like that, which just, like, I get it. I see, I, I appreciate how that works as a metaphor for, for you know, a, a finger banging, but holy shit, dude. Just, and, and yeah, you know, he's still imagining that, that she, you know, he, he thinks that every woman around him is, is into him. And so he's like, I'd be totally into that. And, you know, back to reality. Into what? <laughs> into you joining us. That's what I meant. So yeah, really fun episode. Um, let's see, IMDb trivia for the episode. Right, at one point, Pablo mentions Ash said he tried burning the book once to destroy it, a reference to the climax of The Evil Dead, which involves Ash burning the book to defeat the evil. The song at the end of the episode is Renegade by Styx. And the director of this episode is Michael Hurst, previously worked with Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, Lucy Lawless, and or Bob Tappert. I know, technically it's Rob, but apparently he, there's like, I want to, is it the, I think it's a commentary track for the first Evil Dead. He, either he refers to himself as Bob, or maybe it's Sam, who's also on the commentary track, who refers to him. Just, I don't know. I, I just, I like that. And, but, but yeah, on, yeah, Hercules, Xena, Hercules and Xena, the animated movie. Battle from Mount Olympus, Jack of All Trades, Bitch Slap, Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, and Spartacus. As an actor, director, and or producer. I haven't actually watched Jack of All Trades. Like, Obscura's Lupa made its look so much fun. Uh, let's see. I probably don't have access to it. I'm just going to real quick see if it's anywhere that I have. Seriously? It's not even on Just Watch? Eh. Well, okay, I'll, I think I'll look later to see if I can find it somewhere. I'll have to go one page at a time, but yeah. Or, actually, yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, where can I watch Jack of All Trades? Ah, yeah. Um, it's on Google Play, Voodoo. Oh, holy shit. For real? It's on Plex? Uh, fuck, how do, how do I get to Plex again? Is it... Because it's got... Right, Plex TV. Oh, never mind, that's the wrong... Flex TV, what the fuck does bring up the wrong... Anyway, I've got the, I've got the app. I'll check real quick, just to make sure it's not like region locked or something. So, Jack of all trades. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a, yeah, there are multiple Jacks, Jack of all trades. Doesn't seem like any of them are the, oh, hold on, wait, is this it? Uh, let's see, ah, it's, it's not currently available. Okay, I'll I'll keep an eye out because, yeah. Ah, uh, let's see. Right, when asked where they live, Lower Peninsula of Michigan residents may hold up their right palm and point to a spot on it to in indicate the location. This is how I showed Ash where the militia was located. Wow. Yeah, I was. I gotta say, I I kind of wondered what that was about. 
There are two references to Robocop in this episode. Ash refers to the arresting officer as Robocop. Moments later, he activates a spike. Oh, that's right. Holy shit. God. How did I forget? Fuck. I gotta rewatch Robocop. You know, one of my favorite movies. One of, like, unquestionably one of Paul Herman's best. But yeah, that's right. He's got the, the spike that looks like a, you know, like he's flipping the bird. And let's see. This episode marks Kelly's first deadite kill. And I think that might be about what I have to let's see. I appreciate that Ash. Yeah, I'm just gonna, honestly, I'm gonna quote, yeah, uh, real quick, three three great quotes I haven't yet said. What, you ever saw a guy with a chainsaw hand before? Right, and real quick, uh, next video I do on this should be in eight days. Yes, most likely. Um, is that lavender? <laughs> After I lost this hand, this hand became extra sensitive. The reason I bring this up, Nancy, is... I'm not going to be able to pay that check, but I think I've got something much more valuable I can give you. Much more than $22.89. Double that, at least. <laughs>